I, I didn't think I was going to get drafted because I was 23 years old, you know. And I had got out of high school and, you know, living the life. And one day I got that letter in the mail that your friends and neighbors have selected you to be part of the armed forces. I'm still looking for them, you know. Yeah, I was working at Eastman Kodak. Um, and uh, I got drafted. It was, it was September, I think it was September 5th, I should know that, 1965. A bad memory is when we lost our first guy. <laughs> when I was at Benning, this, uh, this guy Danny um, was there with his wife and we both lived off base and uh, we used to ride in together all the time and and about a week after we got in country, we went out on an ambush at night, and and he got killed. Um, his wife had a baby the next week. That's and that's hard. You know, you have to remember that we had each other's back. You know. You know, throughout the whole thing, you know, and there was nothing you wouldn't do for one of the other guys, you know what I'm saying? And then, so you just sort of carried it on for the rest of your life, you know? I mean, I could pick up the phone right now and call one of them and say, I need you, and they'd be here. I went back to my base camp. What a shock that was. When I was there, it was just this little village with straw huts, you know, I just got pictures here, I'll show you. Um, and now, because it's on the river, it's a seaport, and they got all these big cranes like New York City lift unloading these ships and it. I was worried when I left to how it, I was gonna react to it, you know, because I didn't want some people you know, getting down on me about the war and that, you know. I'd have been counting about numbered at that time, but as it turned out, it never came up, you know. And I don't really think that the young people know that much about it. You know, when they never did refer to it, they referred to it as the American War.